In today's show, we're going to talk about Power Apps Export a Package. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one of the apps I've previously built, we're going to export that out, and then we're going to jump over and import it into a different tenant so you can see how moving apps between uh, tenants look like. Also, I'm going to do the corresponding flows that went with the solution so that way you can really kind of think about moving the whole thing. But first, here's our intro. Hi, my name is Shane Young with Power Apps 911. Those guys. And today, we're going to dive into exporting and importing Power Apps packages. So the idea here is that sometimes you have a package that you get maybe from someone myself or someone else and you want to be able to move that between tenants, right? Because you can also, you know, use like save as and there's other features for moving within your tenant, but a lot of times import and export's really great when you want to jump between environments. So I thought I would go over that. Now the reason I want to go over it is because my new offering that I'll tell you about after the class is over, you can start to get these downloads yourself. So you can just pull my solution straight into your tenant so you don't have to keep recreating everything. But that's a little bit later. So let's switch over to my desktop and take a look. Okay, so over here on my desktop, we're going to switch over. And remember this fun little app we made, right? We had a little fun. We made our app and it was able to do all the pin inputs um, in the different ways. And so this one was interesting, right? Because it had lots of flows associated with it. And it also had, you know, raw HTML that would be a lot easier if you could get a hold of. So what I want to do is how, how I would make it so that you could export this and take it over. So the first thing to do, make sure you don't make the same mistake that I did when I was practicing for this, is that when you do an export, it's going to take the most recent published version. So not the editing version, but the published version. And so that messed me up. And that's why I get to redo this. So go over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my app. And so it is called pin input with JSON. And I'm going to hit the little thing. I'm going to say I want to do details. And so from here, I'm going to make sure that the version that I'm on is the published version. Cool. So I know I'm getting all the stuff. So I'm going to click export package. And it says preview. It said preview forever. It's fine. It works. And so after a few seconds, it pulls all the stuff in here. And so you're going to need to give it a name. This is just like a dumb name for the file, basically. So don't overthink this one. I'm going to call this pin input, power input, power app, though, just to be uh, sure. And so then now down here, it says, all right, when I pull this into the new environment, what do you want me to do? Well, I'm going to send it to a brand new blank environment. So I don't want to update an existing one. I want to create a new copy of this app. So I'll say create as new. And then down here, it shows you all the different related resources. And so you can see that it says, all right, for these four flows, man, we got to grab all four of those flows that we're going to do an update. So we're going to just reconnect. Cool. And then they need to choose their SharePoint connection, their Outlook connection, their OneDrive for Business connection. All right. So that makes sense. So they're going to hit export. And so after a few seconds, you can see that right here, it's downloaded for me a zip file. So this zip file, it's important to understand that the zip file is what the file you want. Don't go open the zip. It didn't compress a bunch of things that you need to go look at. You want the zip. So be happy. So there you go. So now we've got that exported, but then we saw there was a bunch of these other flows, right? And I'm going to forget the name. So I always just cheat. So I need the image to OneDrive flow. So I'm going to go over here to my flows and there you can see image to OneDrive. I'm going to hit the little ellipses and I can just do a straight up export here. Now notice you can either export the package or the zip like we've done. That's what you want. Or if you want to take this over to Logic Apps and do more advanced things with it, we can do that. That's outside the scope we care about here. So right now with my flow, and this is only a flow thing, but with flow, I'm just going to grab the zip. So then it looks exactly the same. So I'm just going to call this image to PDF flow. And you can see that it's like, all right, what you want me to do? I want you to do create as new, right? This is the same exact wizard. So we're going to say save. And then because there's a OneDrive for business connection, it's going to set up that connection as well. Got it. So we'll say export. And so then we get that same zip file. So then I go back over here to my power app, be like, oh, now I need pin input to SharePoint. Oh, and so then we'll go over here back to my flows. And there's one called pin input to SharePoint right there. And so I tell you what, I'm just going to fast forward the video, but I'm just going to run through and export all four of these files exactly the same way by changing the same setting. So I'll, you guys can watch me, but I'll see you in a second. Boom. And so I want to point out here on the last one, Pi to OneDrive, um, I changed the, or left the import set up an update instead of setting new. Not a big deal. We're going to work through that, but I just wanted you guys to re see that I purposely messed that up. Okay, so now I've got these four zip files 
Plus we've got the pin input um, or the zip file for the Power App. So now let's switch over to a different tenant. So for that, I have this wonderful little Contoso demo, demo tenant. It's got the app from the SharePoint class I wrote, but that's it. So I also went over to flows and my flows and I don't have any flows. Now keep in mind because I have both flows and power apps, I'm gonna pull the flows over first because the flows, um, you know, I'm gonna have to wire those into the power app. So we're gonna say import and it says, where is that zip file? Remember I didn't update the zip file. I didn't touch the zip file. I'm just gonna give it the exact same zip file. And so we'll do um, pin input to PDF first. So we're gonna say open. And so here you can see it's gonna create it to new, right? So pin input, nice little green. And it's like, hey, you gotta select all these during import. So I'm gonna click on this and it says, where's your OneDrive for business connection? Well, there's mine. So we'll say save. And then how about my Outlook connection? Select during input, there it is, save. Notice black X's are positives, who knows? And then select during import and this is gonna to connect to SharePoint, perfect. So now you have one green check mark and three black X's, you're set. Really what you're looking for is, is your import button blue? It is. So we're gonna import and that's going to deploy that flow with those connections into my environment. Awesome, possum. So after 20 or 30 seconds, it says, hey, open your flow. So if we click on this, we can go in and see that, look, pin input to PDF, there's all those awesome steps. Boom, nothing for us to do. Just wanted to make sure it was there. So we'll go back over here to my flows again, and let's import the one that I know I messed up on, right? So we're gonna say upload, and so that was the pie one. There you go. I kind of want pie, my belly's a little grumbly. So after a few seconds, it's like, hey, Right now it's a red mark because it knows there isn't a Pi to OneDrive to update. So I can click on update here. And so I'm just gonna change the step to create as new. So if you didn't set it up the right way when you did it originally, uh, then you can still fix it. So no, no harm in not exporting it the right way. So we say save. Now we got the black X, so we're good. Then we're gonna select um, the OneDrive for business connection. Boom. We're going to select this connection. Boom. And we got the blue, so we're good. So we're gonna import that one. 20 or 30 seconds later, it's all set. So we're not even gonna bother opening it. I'm gonna go back to my flows and we're gonna import the other two. And I'm just gonna fast forward through this because you don't wanna watch me do that over and over again. So you can watch, but I'll be back in a second. All right, so the last one's done. And so if we go over to my flows real quick. You can see we've got all four flows. Perfect. So now we go right to Power Apps. And we're gonna go here to apps. And so we're gonna import the Power App, right? There's only the customer SharePoint one, and that's not for this. So we're gonna say upload. And so we're gonna find our pin input Power App right there. And so then now you can see, look, create is new, green, yay. Oh, all these. So they all need to be updated. But look, because we went through the process, there's image to OneDrive, yes. There is pin input to SharePoint, yes. Pin input to PDF, yes. Man, we are knocking this out. P Pi to OneDrive, perfect. Save those four. Then we need to select all these guys during import again. We've done this before. Boom and boom and boom. And once again, a screen full of green and black X's. <laughs> it all works. So we're gonna say import. And in just a few seconds, we should have a fully functional power app. Fingers crossed. All right, it's there. So let's go to open app and see what happens. I'm a little nervous. Why? Because I didn't really practice. I've done this before, but not had this one. So anyway, I'm nervous. What's going to happen? So it needs to access all those resources. Those all sound great. So say hello. All right. Our app looks pretty nice. And so let's kind of take a look at this. So if we click on save to OneDrive, that would run image to OneDrive like so. So then let's go over here at flows real quick, image to OneDrive, and let's just edit this flow and make sure we feel like it looks like right. That seems correct. So we'll go over, that's fine. And let's do this. Let's just scribble in here. Do, 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 do. And say save to OneDrive. Fingers crossed. We'll go like this, we'll do this, and we'll open up the OneDrive right there. Flow demo folder got created. And there is our pin input, yeah! So look at that. With just a little bit of work, we are able to import and export. Now we probably need to go fix some of these up, right? Cause I'm guessing like if we went over and said, how about pin input to SharePoint? Let's click on this one, we'll click edit. And so create file. And so it's trying to create it out in Shane's Cal sites PA. So that's not gonna work because that's not a real uh, SharePoint site, right? So I would need to come in here and be like, hey, you know what? That's not really a place for you. 
How about in your SharePoint customer app, save that into the, I'm gonna just throw it in share documents, right? Because it's already set up. So site SharePoint customer app, can I copy that so I can paste it in, in a second? So we'll say save. And so now we'll go back over here. We'll say save to SharePoint. And then we will navigate to that SharePoint site. Go to documents. Look at that, yes! So this is um, you know, what you need to do when you import apps, right? We just gotta wire it all back together. And then if you have data sources like SharePoint, you, know, you gotta go fix the URLs. So in here, you know, my embed the PDF, this just uh, saved it to OneDrive. So you have to go fix the OneDrive link, but I think it's already fixed. I wouldn't have to fix anything. That one would just work. This one just sends an email. So that one would just work. Um, no big deal there. But if you've got additional data sources, like even in here in your app, right, if you went to data sources, and so if it was pulling in SharePoint or SQL or CDS, then you probably need to remove those and remap those, right? So maybe in a future video, we'll talk about remapping data sources in a move. But this was at least enough to kind of get you guys going on the concept of uh, exporting an app and then importing it into another environment and fixing it up. And if you're thinking, man, that's really awesome, Shane. Will you send me those files so I can do that exact thing? Well, I will, but there's a little caveat to that. So just um, today, actually, we launched a new offering. So training.powerapps911.com. And so out here, you know, we've got several different courses, um, but right now we have one called Shane's Curated, Shane's Curated, Curated, I can't say the word, a video library with downloads. And so what this will do is this lets you come in here and it gives you the entire YouTube library, right? So all the videos, including this one, I'm gonna go put it there as soon as I finish recording. Um, but so it gives you all my YouTube videos without the ads, but then certain videos like, um, you know, like this pin input one, you can actually download the app that I gave, the flow I gave. You can also download the code snippets. So if you just wanna recreate those formulas. So I've made all of the assets um, available so you can just jump in there and do it. And I'm not gonna bore you with it, um, but if you go in here and watch this video, this will explain to you exactly how it all works, but you can see where you can go in there and I've arranged all the videos by groups, right? So I've created a whole section on creating PDFs and power apps, sending emails, SharePoint concepts. And we're in beta right now, it's gonna get better. Um, that's why the price is really cheap right now until I get it all finished. But I'm just building out the entire library so it's searchable and it's grouped in logical ways and videos that have the need have the ability to be download uh, the app and all the resources. Very exciting. You can also sign up for office hours where once a month you get on a call with me and the other people in this class and we'll talk about the videos out there, what I'm working on, what the Power App ecosystem looks like. It's pretty exciting. But anyway, this is not meant to be a commercial, my bad, I'm sorry. So if you have any questions about any of the stuff we talked about in class, uh, the video today, so around the importing and exporting, you know, leave me some comments, always happy to chime in there. Um, if you wanna see the next video that talks about changing SharePoint or changing the data source around a little bit, if uh, you're moving in truly different environments, tell me that, I'll make that video too. But with all that said, I think I'm gonna say thanks and have a great day. Before you go, be sure to click on the subscribe button over here so that way you'll be notified when new videos come out. If you need any help or you want to work together, whether your problem is big or small, check us out at Power Apps 911. We do it all. I rhymed. Or if you're looking for more formal training offerings, we have those linked up here somewhere. So check them out. Thanks and have a great day.